I want to welcome you, if this is your first time with us tonight, may the Lord bless you abundantly. My prayer to God will touch you, renew, and strengthen you tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, as I said, tonight we are on our uh, third night of the Spur Campaign. We began the Spur Campaign Monday, and we're finishing on Friday. Amen. And so each night we are praying for something different and tonight is going to be awesome what God is going to do in our lives. Amen. Uh, tonight, there's some things that's been really burning in my heart to share with you guys tonight. Uh, I believe is going to bless your, your life. Amen. Uh, I don't know about you, but I want to gain knowledge. I want to grow in God. I want to... I refuse to be stuck in a little box thinking that somehow I arrived. Amen. And the more I minister, the more I spend time with Jesus, the more I give myself okay, to the will of God, the more I learn. Amen. I love what I do because I learn every day. Amen. The greatest school that there is, is your life. Amen. There are things that you, if you allow God, it will teach you. Okay, every day that you will never that you will not learn anywhere else, amen. And so that's how I learn. Okay, I love to learn through you know daily, you know, as I walk with the Lord. And so tonight, I'm going to be sharing some stuff that uh, with you guys. Maybe I don't know, maybe you've never heard it before, maybe you have, but with the purpose, uh, my desire as I share with you. Uh, what I'm going to be sharing is to build up your faith and to bless your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, uh, you know, uh, before, actually, before I uh, I share with you, let me read uh, uh, just a, a really quick a passage of scripture uh, to bless you. And uh, because tonight, listen, before I read the passage of scripture, let me share with you what I'm going to be praying for tonight. Okay, tonight I'm praying, okay, for everyone, okay, whatever it is that you're struggling tonight, I'm praying for you. I'm standing in agreement with you, believing God for your miracle, amen. But I'm going to be praying specifically, okay, for those battling, okay, with lies, okay, those who are battling with the lies of the enemy, those who have believed, okay, they have strongholds of lies in their lives, okay, lies okay, uh, false beliefs, okay, uh, what else, deception, those who fall often into the, the lies of the enemy, okay, lies, deception, false beliefs, they're often uh, 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 taken, okay, astray to the, from the presence of God because of the lies, amen, and then uh, the verse I want to share with you is found in Proverbs, chapter 23 and verse 7 amen proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7 the bible says this for as he think in his heart so is he amen i believe this people of god that you and i will go as far as we uh, uh, as our belief amen if you don't believe in miracles guess what you will never see a miracle why you just don't believe it okay if you believe okay that the devil is bigger than god then guess what the devil will always be bigger than god amen if you believe and i hope that you believe that god is bigger than than the devil then guess what you will live a, 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 an amazing life you will overcome the challenge that comes on your way it's all about your beliefs and so there are people that I minister often that we pray for them over and over and over again. And for some of you, you know, you follow our ministry, you know, I'm very persistent. When I'm praying for somebody, I'm telling them I, am, I can be loud and I can, uh, you know, even a friend of mine was mentioning today, uh, the other day to me, he said, Fernando, one thing about uh, that I like about your ministry is that I have never seen somebody that is bold like you, okay? That's what he said, okay? He said, Fernando, the way that you, that, 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 that uh, uh, not bold, he said, aggressive. He said, I have never seen somebody aggressive like you are in the spiritual realm. Amen? I, he said, Fernando, I 
been around, I see people often, especially people that minister deliverance, and they're sometimes it can be very passive, and you're very aggressive. And, and, and I like that. And so, you know, it blessed me to hear that. Amen. That, you know, it's another minister that, you know, follow our ministry. And so, uh, uh, but, you know, I pray for people and I'm very aggressive when I'm praying. Okay. Especially when there's an assignment of the enemy against somebody. Amen. But let me say this. I can pray for somebody. Okay. Uh, all day long, but if they do not change their mindset, if they do not allow, if they do not divorce the lies of the devil, guess what? I can be as mean as I can with the devil. I can yell all day long. I can pray all day long and nothing is going to happen. You know what? Because the lies that they have believed. And so if you want prayer, to bring result into your life. If you want to see transformation in your life, you must divorce yourself from the lies of the devil. Amen? You must uh, uh, let go of the lies of the enemy. And so, before I share with you tonight, let me ask you a question. Okay? Uh, and I want you to think about it. My question to you tonight is this. What are the lies that you are believing in? What are the lies that you keep falling into it? You keep believing. Instead of believing in the truth of the Word of God, you keep believing in the lies, okay? You read the Word daily, but then when the devil whispers in your ears, you're quickly to give, uh, 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 you, you're quickly to believe in the lies of the enemy. You give yourself into the lies of the enemy. Amen. Remember, Satan is the father of lies. And when you and I, we, uh, 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 we uh, uh, entertained a lie of the enemy, when we uh, uh, keep giving life, we keep entertaining the lies of the devil, guess what? You are opening a door for that spirit to manipulate and to control you. Amen? Let me say this again. When you allow, when you entertain a lie, when you start giving life to a lie of the devil, at that moment right there, you are opening a door to Satan. Let me say again, to Satan in your life. Why? Because you just start uh, giving life to what the enemy is whispering. Instead of giving life to the word the same way if you give ears to the word if you apply the word if you meditate on the word and if you start you know allowing yourself to believe in the word guess what your life is going to transform but if you give uh, ears to the lies of the end and you start believing them guess what you're opening a door to the devil amen Praise God, I'm telling, I know some of you can tell, tonight I'm fired up. And I, I, I'm fired up because, I'm telling you, people of God, for those who follow us, you know, I don't believe in just prayer. I say this like a broken record. So many times, I don't believe in just prayer. I believe, okay, in prayer, yes, but prayer that is followed by obedience. The only prayer that changes a person's life is the prayer that is followed by obedience, okay? Obedience to what? Obedience to the Word of God. Obedience to the Word of God. If you and I choose to you know, we're going to pray tonight. If you do not align yourself with the word, then guess what? I'm sorry to tell you, but it's just a waste of time. But if you choose to, okay, pray with us tonight, and you choose to believe in what God says about you, what the word says about your situation, then guess what? It's just a matter of time. Soon or later, your life is going to change. Amen? Praise God. And so my question to you is, what are the lies that you are believing in? What are the deceptions that Satan have convinced you with? What are the false beliefs about yourself, about God, that you are believing in? Amen. And so tonight, 
Okay, as your brother in the Lord, I beg you, let go the lies. Let go the lies that you have believed in. Because if you hold on into those lies, if you do not let go those lies, and if you keep entertaining those lies, there's no amount of prayer that is going to change your life. Amen? And so please, I ask you in Jesus' name, let go the lies. Let it go of the lies because the, the more you meditate upon them, the tendency to get stronger and stronger and then deception comes in and you believe in things that doesn't even exist. And I have, I have no question tonight. There's somebody watching me tonight that there are things in your life that you're battling with. There are things in your life that doesn't even exist in your battling because you have given in yourself into lies. You have believed in lies and then there are things that the enemy brings into our lives that doesn't even exist. Okay? And so let go the lies of the enemy. Let go the lies and stick with the truth. Amen. So praise God. So let me share uh, what just happened just recently. Okay. Uh, probably this, this testimony that I'm going to share with you tonight. Happened about maybe two weeks ago. Okay. Two weeks ago I was praying. Okay. For a, a man. I was praying for a man overseas, okay? I pray a lot for people uh, overseas, over phone or Skype. And so I was ministering to uh, to this brother, okay? And he's a, he's a, he's a brother of a, a pastor, one of my pastor friends, okay, uh, uh, overseas. And, uh, and he asked me, uh, he, you know, uh, I don't know a whole lot about his brother, but, uh, you know, uh, my friend, which is the pastor, asked me, would you please pray for my brother? He's going through some stuff. He didn't open up to me what was going on in his life. Amen. Especially because I'm when I'm ministering to somebody, I, I don't like to get a lot of information unless we're dealing with deliverance. Amen. But uh, when I'm praying for people, I, you know, uh, especially on the phone or if I just pray one time, if we're not dealing with deliverance, you know, then I just rather just allow the you know uh just pray you know in the spirit and allow the lord to reveal what he needs to reveal so uh i was you know uh so my friend set up a uh, you know a time for me to pray for his brother and i started praying for him and uh all that i knew about this brother was that he was uh part of a denomination a church that was very uh, uh, they are well known, okay, for having some uh, beliefs that, uh, you know, uh, uh, some people even call them an occult, okay, but some beliefs that doesn't really align with the word, okay, very uh, uh, strict, very religious, very controlling, and so uh, that's all that I knew, okay. Especially because I have uh, some family members that uh, that was part of that ministry in the past. And so I knew a little bit. I was familiar a little bit with them. So uh, as I begin to, you know, uh, 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 to pray for him, uh, you know, uh, and this guy, listen, this guy is not a Pentecostal. Most of the people that I pray for, they have a Pentecostal background that they know the things of the spirit or they're familiar to the things of the spirit not this man okay he was very he doesn't you know the church he would belong to was very uh, they opposed the, the you know the gifts of the spirit they didn't really believe in the gifts of the spirit and but since he asked me okay then you know I follow with the spirit whatever the Lord tells me I will pray amen and so as I begin to pray for him the Lord opened up my eyes, okay, opened my spiritual eyes, and I I saw this man, okay, I was seeing him, okay, over Skype, but I saw him in the spiritual realm, and I saw like bugs coming out of his ears. God opened my eyes, okay, and I saw it was like bugs, okay, bugs coming out of his ears as I was starting praying for him, and I was like, God, you know, I didn't share with him, I said, God, what am I seeing, what is this thing, and the Lord spoke to me very, very clear, those things that's coming out of his ear, okay, they are lies and deceptions that he believed in, and so I was like, oh, okay, now it makes sense, and so 
you know, not that, you know, in the natural there was bugs coming out of his ears, but in the spiritual realm, that's what the Lord kept showing me. I saw it was like bugs coming out of his ears, and I kept commanding every lie of the enemy. The more I prayed the lies of the enemy, you know, to fall off him, I saw bugs coming out. And, you know, pray for him for uh, about half an hour, just commanding things, lies, deception to leave him. Amen. And then, then as I, you know, I finish, I ask him, what are you sensing? And that's what we're going to be praying for tonight. Amen. That's what we're going to be praying for. He said, this is so crazy. I say, what? He said, it feels like there's a, this uh, earthquake. I mean, this hurricane next to me. I'm hearing so much noise. It's like a wind uh, right next to me. It's, uh, it's like a wind coming and, and, and but it comes near me and it, it moves comes and moves and you know then i asked the lord to say god what is this and the lord showed me the lord spoke to me say this is the wind of my spirit my wind is removing the lies from his life and so that's what we're going to be praying for tonight for those that are watching us tonight and you have believed in lies and deceptions you're battling you're struggling with the lies of the enemy with deception concerning your future concerning your you know your life concerning your relationships concerning your relationship with god amen we're gonna ask god tonight that god the the wind of god's spirit will move the lies from your life amen that's what i'm asking the lord for tonight and so as I'm praying for you tonight, I'm praying specifically for the wind of God's Spirit to move away from you the lies. Okay, but in order for that wind, in order for that lies to leave you, you have to agree with me tonight. And so right now, what just think about your life for a minute. Okay, just think about what are the areas in your life that you know you have believed in and in lies Day after day, you keep believing in the lies. It might be the lies concerning a relationship. It might be lies concerning your future. It might be lies concerning, you know, who you are. Maybe you're struggling in your identity. You don't, you don't really know who you are. One minute you think you are somebody. Another minute you think you're somebody else. And there's this ongoing battle on the inside concerning your identity. Okay? You don't know who you are in Christ. And so, that's what I ask you. I want you to surrender. I want you to give to the Lord the lies that you have believed in. Say, God, that's what I'm asking you to do. Say, Lord, I want your wind, the wind of your spirit to remove the lies from my life that I have believed. Amen? By doing that, you are divorcing those lies tonight. Amen? Praise the Lord. And then, let me, you know, the, the, it didn't end there. As I kept praying for this man, the Lord started giving me words of knowledge, okay? Starting giving me, you know, uh, uh, words of knowledge ab about him. And uh, one of, I'm not going to go into much detail just because of the time, but one of the things that really blessed me as I was praying for him, uh, you know, after the, the wind of God's Spirit removed the lies, then I, uh, you know, uh, I got a word, okay? I got a name, okay? It was a word of knowledge, okay? And the Lord gives me a lot of words of knowledge when I'm praying for people. And so, uh, I got the word. I got a name. I say, who is the person named Ivan? I say, I see the Lord is giving me a name, and the name is Ivan. Who is Ivan? And I'm telling you, he looked to me. I was like, wow. I say, Ivan is a man that I almost killed him the other day. I said, why is it that you almost killed him? I said, because I sold my car to this man. He's Ivan. He's a friend of our family. Okay? I trust him. I sold my car to him for him to make payment. And he's not paying me. And I'm so frustrated with Ivan that I almost went to his house the other day and I almost killed him. It was God that prohibited that. God, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, gave me the grace not to do this. Because I was contemplating going to his house and killing him. Because he's not paying me. And he said, and he told me he's not going to pay me. And so, 
right there, you know, I pray for him through a word of knowledge, okay, through a word of knowledge, I pray for him, and he forgave Ivan, and he gave that situation to the Lord, isn't that awesome, amen, and so, that is the spirit of God, okay, that is not some bad religion, that is the spirit of God, moving and bringing wholeness to this man, amen, and this man experienced something that he never experienced before in his life, amen, and so that's what God wants to do in your life, amen, God wants to remove the same way that God removed the lies and the false beliefs and the false ideologies and false beliefs about, you know, from this man's life, God wants to do in your life tonight. Amen. And so I want to pray for you right now. Amen. Please, uh, I forgot to ask, but if you have uh, your cup of water, remember every night have a cup of water or a bottle of water next to you. Amen. Sometimes I forget uh, to mention, but in the end of each, uh, in the end of each night, I pray for the water, asking the Lord to sanctify, to bless this water. As you drink this water, we're asking the Lord to bring healing, wholeness in your body. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please have your water next to you and let's pray. Amen. And so, listen, I'm going to pray for you specifically tonight for this areas. Okay. I'm commanding, okay, lies, deception, false beliefs uh, to leave your life. Because I say, you, you're going to go as far as your belief. That is as far as you're going to go. If you believe that you're defeated, if you believe that, that there's no solution for you, if you believe that you're a loser, if you believe that God doesn't love you, guess what? You're going to have that which you believe. And so tonight, let it go the lies. Let it go every lie that you have believed in. Amen. And because Jesus, the truth, I release this upon your life. God loves you, and the truth is that you are a precious child of God. And every lie that you have believed, every false belief, I'm telling you, we want to ask the Lord to break that, he shall hold that lie of, of, the, of the enemy, and so that God can bring freedom to your life tonight. Amen? So praise God. Because the time, please, let's pray. Amen? Close your eyes, okay? If you're able, close your eyes. Get on your knees, okay? And I'm praying for you, but I want you to do your job as well, okay? I want you to renounce. Just renounce. Just make a prayer as I'm praying for you. Say, God, I renounce this lie that I have believed, okay? And some of you, as I'm praying for you, okay, I'm going to ask the Lord to remove that spiritual bug off your, your ears. Every lie, everything that, that is in your ear that you be, have, be, have believed in, we're going to ask God to remove it. Some of you, okay, your ears going to be open in the spiritual realm. And some of you will hear the wind of God's spirit removing the lies of the enemy. Amen. So if you do hear the, the wind it's okay, amen, that is the wind, that is a good wind, the wind of God's spirit, removing the lies of the enemy, amen, so let's pray, let's call upon his name, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing tonight, Lord, I, right now, Lord, I'm asking, Lord, for angelic help, Father, you know, Lord, those who are watching, those who's going to watch, Father, in the days to come, this video, Father, you know, each one of them by name. Lord, you know the lies, the false beliefs, the ideologies that they have believed. Lord, every lie they have hindered this man, this woman, to step into their destiny. So, Lord, I'm asking right now, some of them, they are battling with so much stronghold, so much deception. And, Lord, I'm asking right now for angelic activity. I'm asking for, angel for your angels, Father. I ask that you release your angels right now to help me to minister to your people. According to Hebrews 1.14, your word declared that the angels of the Lord, they are ministering in spirit, sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation. Lord, release your angels to surround my brother and my sister. Lord, as a wall of fire. Lord, delivering them from the world, the lies of the devil. Lord, let your angels to cut every demonic lie 
deception from my brother, my sister, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I command the right now, Lord, my brother, my sister, those who have believed in the lies of the devil, the deceptions of Satan, I command in Jesus' mighty name, those, Lord, who have believed in lies, all the bug, those spiritual bug, the lie, Lord, the things that is hindering them to hear the truth, I say back up in Jesus' name. I command the lies of the devil, every lie in every area of their lives that the enemy have convinced them, have, uh, uh, have uh, 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 hindered them to step into God, into the destiny that God got in store for them, every lie, I say back up in Jesus' name. Broken off. I command in Jesus mighty name. We just release right now, Father, the wind of your spirit right now. Lord, the wind, the wind of your spirit right now. The wind of your spirit. Lord, removing the lies of the death right now. Lord, if they're watching, Lord, wherever they're watching, if they're watching their house, Lord, I ask for the wind of your spirit, Lord. Lord, just go to their house and remove the lies of the devil. Lord, I release the wind, the wind of your spirit right now. The wind of your spirit Removing lies Removing deception Removing false beliefs Every lie of the devil Every foul spirit Lord they have a grip on this man This woman I say broken off in Jesus name Broken off Broken off Broken off in Jesus name I command out Angels of the Lord right now Put chains of fire on the neck of every foul spirit The spirit of lie In every spirit that works uh, 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 and, and, uh, that works together with a spirit of life every foul spirit of life that is assigned to destroy this man, this woman angel of the Lord put a chain of fire on the neck of this devil and drive this spirit to wherever it belongs I say loose in Jesus name loose in Jesus name loose in Jesus name I see uh, uh, somebody uh, 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 and you're you're watching right now, and I, I believe as a woman, and you're battling with the, with so many lies concerning your marriage right now. In Jesus' mighty name, I release the lies concerning their marriage, the lies concerning their finances, the lies concerning who they are, the lies concerning God, concerning uh, who God is, the lies concerning who they are. I say, back off in Jesus' name, back off. Even Lord, the every foul spirit that is fighting against their identity, Lord, fighting, hindering them, Lord, to, to really come into the knowledge of who they are in Christ, I say, broken off, broken off, broken off in Jesus' name, broken off in Jesus' name, I command the lies of the devil, loose this man, loose this woman in Jesus' name, Lord, I release the wind of your spirit, Lord, increase your wind, increase your wind, increase your wind, Lord, I ask for your wind, the same way, Father, that man heard the wind of your spirit, removing the lies of his life, I release, you are not a respecter of person, what you did for that man, you can do for this man, for this woman, so right now, Father, increase your wind, remove lies, deception, remove false beliefs, remove, 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 in Jesus' name, whatever area in their lives that they are giving to you, whatever area, Father, that they are asking you, God, for breakthrough, right now, a wind of God's Spirit, remove, 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 open their ears, Father, those who, have their ears have been locked for so many years, those who they have, Lord, uh, they, uh, 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 they have a hard time of hearing your voice, Lord, because of the lies of the enemy, Lord, I command their ears to be open, I speak to their ears, and every spiritual hindrance in their ears, I say, broken off, broken off, broken off in Jesus name, come out, come out, I command all those spiritual buds, all the lies of the devil, everything that hinders them to hear the voice of the living God, I say broken off, broken off, broken off in Jesus name, I release right now, even some of you, you've been bearing so much lies and confusion. Yes, yeah, spirit of confusion, come out of them. Confusion, come out, confusion. Torment in their minds, confusion. Come out, come out, up and out, up and out. I command, loose, 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 loose. More, more of your wind. Lord, increase your wind, increase your wind. The wind of your spirit, removing the confusion, removing the doubt, the unbelief. Lord, I command, loose. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, I decree and I declare freedom upon this man, upon this woman, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, everything that hinders.
fingers and to hear your voice. I declare broken. I declare broken. I declare broken. I command their ears to be open right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name to be able to hear your voice like they never heard. I release that upon them, God. I release. I decree and I declare today. Today, Father, that their ability to hear your voice, Lord, will increase. Their spiritual ears will be open to hear your voice in Jesus' mighty name like never before. In Jesus' mighty name. Also, Lord, I ask you, Lord, for a mantle of protection. Lord, I pray that you put, Lord, a helmet, Lord, in their head. Lord, I pray that you protect their head. I pray that you protect their ears. I pray that you cover them. Lord, I pray that you, Lord, help my brother my sister to be developed Lord in your word to believe in your word like never before Lord I bless my brother I bless my sister from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name amen and amen 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 my brother my sister repeat this prayer with me say Lord Jesus repeat this prayer with all your heart say Lord Jesus today I let go all the lies, all the false beliefs, all the deceptions, all the confusion, all the double-mindedness, I let it go. I choose to believe in your word. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Say, forgive me of all my sins. Say, cleanse me. Say, wash me clean through your precious blood say Lord Jesus empower me to live a victorious life say Lord Jesus set my heart on fire and raise me up to live for the rest of my days to glorify your name say Lord Jesus I surrender to you say come into my heart be my master be my Lord and be my Savior say Lord Jesus thank you for bringing deliverance into my life today. Say, Lord Jesus, empower me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit, with the Spirit of truth. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah, my brother and my sister. It's been such a great blessing to pray with you tonight. Please, before we finish, get your cup of water, get your cup, uh, a bottle of water, cup of water, lift up to heaven and let's pray. Amen. I'm going to pray, anointing this water, asking God to bless and to sanctify this water. When you drink this water, if there's any infirmity, sickness, disease, if there's any devil, if there's anything in your life that is hindering you, I'm asking the Lord that He will use this water to bring healing, wholeness, and transformation to your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please, let's pray. Now, Father God. I bless this water. Lord, each one of them, that they have their water, their cup of water, their bottle of water. Father, I pray that you release, that you put a special anointing, Lord, into this cup of water. Lord, I pray when they drink this water, Lord, that's what I ask you, Lord. Lord, let this water be a point of contact to bring healing wholeness and transformation to my brother my sister if there's any infirmity sickness disease if there's any curse if there's any devil they have a grip on this man this woman i ask you lord that this water will be like a liquid fire bringing healing and transformation to their body i ask you transform this water in lord uh, lord uh, like a medicine from heaven to bring wholeness into their body the same way that jesus performed that miracle Lord, in that wedding feast, Lord, turning that water into wine, I'm asking you to turn that water, Lord, into liquid fire to bring healing, wholeness, and transformation, Lord, into my brother and my sister. Bless them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Amen. I consecrate this water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everyone that drinks by faith, in faith, let them receive their breakthrough. Amen and amen. Please drink your water. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, people of God. It's been such a great joy to pray with you tonight. Uh, if you have already testimony, please let us know. I'd love to celebrate with you what God just did in your life tonight. I know there's some 
powerful breakthrough that took place tonight. I know in my spirit, I can tell that there's some amazing breakthrough just took place tonight. I would love to hear your testimony. I would love to celebrate with you what God is doing in your life. Amen. Just go to my website cursebreak.com and just send us an email let us know you know what god did in your life amen praise god have a wonderful night i look forward to pray with you tomorrow night again amen please help us to spread the word tell your friends tell your family about the spirit campaign and let's together go deeper into the things of god amen love you god bless you shalom